Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Guevara and today I want to discuss the benefits of early intervention programs for children with autism. AutismSpeaks.org states that one in every 36 children will be diagnosed with autism. As a mother of a child who has a diagnosis, I have done plenty of research on both autism and early intervention programs and I believe that this is a topic that should be talked about more often. So first things first, what is autism? According to the American Psychiatric Association, autism is a developmental disability that involves challenges with social communication, restricted interest, and repetitive movements. Some of the challenges with social communications are selective mutism, aversion to touch, and a high preference in being alone. Challenges with restricted interests include hyperfixations, and challenges with repetitive movements include hand flapping, walking in circles repeatedly, and rocking their body back and forth repeatedly. So now that we know that, here are some more symptoms of autism. So some of the early signs of autism can be, your child is constantly in hysterics, your child has a high preference to being alone, your child is very sensitive to loud noises, tiptoe walking, your child avoids eye contact, your child has little to no sense of danger, your child may have a speech delay, your child is very aversive to touch, and your child might have issues with communication and may not respond to his or her name. So now that we know that, what do you do if your child is showing some of these signs? The first thing you do is talk to your child's pediatrician about any concern you may have. Your child's pediatrician will then see if it is necessary to go through with an evaluation. If he does see it necessary, he will refer you to a psychiatrist who will be the one doing the evaluation. Now you have to remember that having an autism evaluation does not mean you will receive an autism diagnosis there are plenty of other developmental disabilities and behavioral issues to keep in mind if you are given an autism diagnosis you may receive referrals to occupational therapy speech therapy and aba aba stands for applied behavioral analysis and that type of therapy is for children who are highly aggressive, cause a lot of self-injury, and need help with basic life skills, such as brushing their teeth, combing their hair, um, being potty trained, trying out new foods, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Occupational therapy helps children who have sensory issues, who have delayed fine and gross motor skills, and who will need overall physical strengthening activities. Speech therapy is for children who have speech delays or speech problems. With autism, many times children are nonverbal and speech therapy can either help them how to learn how to start talking or they are taught how to use AAC devices, which are essentially just a tablet with pictures and the speech therapist will teach the child like, oh, this is for when you need milk. This is for when you need to go to the restroom and stuff like that. Because the child cannot verb verbally communicate, they will communicate using their tablet. So now that I have discussed some of the early intervention programs, why are they so beneficial to children with autism? Children with autism face many challenges with day-to-day -day tasks that we would see as some something simple and easy. They don't see it like that. They need help with certain tasks, like I stated. And these therapies help them learn tactics for, for combing their hair, for being able to tolerate certain type of clothes, for, for knowing when to go to the restroom, learning how to talk, learning how to communicate. And these are all skills that children can pick up at an early age in these therapies and carry them on throughout the rest of their lives to grow up and be extremely success successful in their personal lives and in their careers. You have to remember that children with autism are not less. They are very smart individuals 
and they just need extra help learning how to do simple tasks. They will eventually grow up and be very successful because of therapies like this, because they learn things like coping mechanisms that they can carry on until they're older. And when they're frustrated and when they feel stuck, they have these coping mechanisms that are taught with ABA and occupational therapy that they can continue to use throughout their life to continue being successful. So... To conclude my speech, I would just like to talk about the benefits that I have seen in my child. My child has been in therapy for about a year, and there has been a crazy amount of success in him already. He started off not being able to tolerate when somebody combs, combed his hair. Now he can sit there and hold the comb on his own. He was very delayed with fine and gross motor skills, and now he can... He's, he's almost, he can almost entirely close up a shirt with buttons on his own, and that is fine motor skills. He can, he can talk, he can communicate his feelings much better, and he has learned so many ways to control his anger, to be able to express his feelings rather than hurting himself. So all these early intervention programs are amazing, and if you have a child with autism, I highly recommend you looking into it if you have suspicions that your child is autistic i highly recommend you talk to your pediatrician because the earlier the better have a great day